The intrinsic muscles of the foot are those that have both their origin and insertion points within the foot. The intrinsic muscles are separated into two groups, the plantar group and the dorsal group. The dorsal group consists of only one group of muscles called the extensor digitorum brevis. The extensor digitorum brevis originates both superiorly and laterally on the calcaneus. The first muscle of the extensor digitorum brevis inserts on the proximal base of the greater toe phalanx, whereas all of the other muscles within the group insert laterally to the extensor digitorum longus tendon. The function of the muscle is to extend the digits at the MTP joints. The first layer is made up of three muscles, the flexor digitorum brevis, the abductor hallucis, and the abductor digiti minimi. The flexor digitorum brevis originates on the medial process of the calcaneus. Each of its four strands split and insert onto the medial and lateral side of the four flanks. This split enables the flexor digitorum longus tendon to pass through and insert onto the middle of the four lateral phalanx. The function of the flexor digitorum brevis is to flex the four lateral digits at the proximal interphalangeal joint. Medial to the flexor digitorum brevis is the abductor hallucis. The abductor hallucis originates on the medial process of the calcaneus and inserts medially at the base of the proximal phalanx. The function of the abductor hallucis is to flex and abduct the great toe. The final muscle within the first layer is the abductor digiti minimi. The abductor digiti minimi originates from the lateral process of the calcaneus and inserts onto the proximal base of the flanks. Its function is to flex and abduct the fifth digit. The second layer within the plantar group has two muscles in total, the quadratus plantae and the lumbricals. The quadratus plantae has two heads which originate on the medial and lateral side of the calcaneus. The muscle inserts onto the lateral side of the flexor digitorum longus tendon and helps the tendon to flex the toes. The first lumbrical originates from the medial side of the tendon and inserts onto the dorsal surface of the second toe. All of the other three lumbricals are bipinnate muscles and originate from adjacent sides of the tendon and insert onto the extensor heads of the three digits. The function of the lumbricals is to flex at the MTP joints whilst extending the interphalangeal joints. The third layer within the plantar group has three muscles in total, which are associated to the little and the greater toe. The first muscle is the flexor hallucis brevis, which lies underneath the flexor hallucis longus tendon. The muscle has two origin points and two insertion points. One origin is on the cuboid bone and the other origin is on the posterior tibialis tendon. The insertion point for the muscle is the medial and lateral base of the flanks of the greater toe. The function of the muscle is to flex the big toe at the MTP joints. The second muscle within the third layer is called the abductor hallucis. The abductor hallucis has both a transverse and oblique head. The transverse head runs horizontally along the foot and originates on the deep transverse metatarsal ligament. The transverse head inserts at the base of the proximal flanks. The oblique head originates both on the base of the metatarsals 2 to 4 and also on the parongus longus tendon. The insertion point is on the base of the proximal phalanx. The function of the abductor hallucis muscle is to abduct the great toe. The final muscle within the third layer is called the flexor digiti minimi brevis. This muscle originates on the bone of the fifth metatarsal and inserts onto the base of the proximal flanks. Its function is to flex the little toe. The fourth and the final layer is made up of the plantar and dorsal interossi muscle. The plantar interossi muscle originates medially on the metatarsals 3, 4 and 5 and inserts onto the base of the proximal flanges digits 3 to 5. The function of the plantar interossi muscle is to adduct the toes 3 to 5 at the MTP joint. The dorsal 
interossi muscles are bipinnate muscles that originate on both sides of the metatarsal 2, 3 and 4. The first three muscles insert laterally to the bone of the proximal phalanges 2 to 4. The fourth dorsal interossi muscle, however, inserts medially only. The function of the dorsal interossi muscle is to adduct the metatarsal phalangeal joint.